Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. I have a fun project for us today. Uh, we're gonna customize an apron. I plan on putting my name up here and then welcome with some wildflowers down here. First thing I wanna do though is I wanna get it uh, pressed so I can have the flattest surface possible. So I'm letting my mini heat up and then we'll get to it. Right, and what we're going to do is uh, I printed out on my computer my name and I'm going to put welcome on this little apron here. And so what I'm going to do is just cut them apart, help me with layout. Make sure I like the size that I created on the printer. save this little piece here because what I'm going to do I think it's going to turn out just right something like that and have wildflowers all over it so the way I'm going to get this on here to help me uh, with the painting part is I am going to put chalk on the back of it and then uh, use the end of one of my paint brushes and just do the outline so, so one, two, half, I think my halfway mark is going to be somewhere right in here. And then before I put my chalk on, I'm going to go end to end. I know that's the center of my word. One, two and a half and a little bit more so it's going to sit something like that and I might even give it a little angle just for interest so I'm just taking chalk and I'm just getting it on the whole back here this is how I do my uh, porch leaning signs works really well get off the dust so we're at one two half right there so I want something like that I'm going to take my end of my brush and this is just a guide chalk is left behind we'll just brush off or if it's on there good I can put a little bit of water and it'll become right off And there we are. So 
so what we'll do I don't know if the camera can pick that up but I have my outline so what I'll do is I'll take a smallish brush and just paint inside there it may take more than one coat paint palette over here just in case I need it this is me just trying to get the letters on there carefully turn this so we can do the other side Right, so now it's time to try to get this welcome on here. Again, I'm just going to cover the back and chalk. Make sure I have each of the letters covered well. Now again, we're going to, should have done that first. Somewhere right there. We'll outline the letters again. It's up here where I can see the shapes of my letters. Put my paint over here and let's see. I think we'll go with this one. Put the other one in the water while I was moving stuff around. All right.
is our welcome. So we've got our first layer of paint down. Get rid of my stencils. Let me turn this around where you can see all of it. We'll let this dry completely and then we'll put the next layer on there to sharpen up the letters. There we go. Step one. All right, so our white paint is dry. We'll probably put another coat on it. But what I want to do is go ahead and lay out my green. So I'm going to create a little mask, which is just simply marking off an area that I don't want to get paint on. A little bit gets up under there it's not the end of the world but this will help protect it somewhat because now we'll get to put on our wildflowers and maybe some bugs ladybugs butterflies bumblebees we'll see what we end up with Alright, I think that's all we need. But I'll hold that in place. These come in handy. They have that little handle on them. So they're easy to um, use and grab and move and put in place and all that. Alright, so for our next step, I want to go ahead and do green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the bottom. Or, you know, like... Um, the ground and then have them come up but around this word so we'll let's see how we can do that I like to double load my brush let's get all of our strings out of the way like light green. I've only got a little bit of it left. <laughs> this is pretty thin for some reason. But it's alright, we're going to mix them together. Alright, let's start with this one kind of mix it. I think I'm going to put some yellow in here only because that green is so thin. And this is super thick. I want it to be on the lighter side because we're putting it on black, but I want a little bit of that dark color as well.
add our leaves on here after I get this bottom done. And uh, that will, we'll have to let it all, this green dry before we try to put flowers on there. I'm doing more of a pouncing motion than an actual brush stroke. That seems to be putting down enough paint to get that look that I'm looking for. I have two different size leaves. We'll go with this one. I'm double loading my brush so I have both colors on at the same time. And I'm just going to give a leaf. Just give in some shading. All right. 
right, I think we're going to call it good. And we'll let this dry. And we'll get ready to put some flowers on here. All right, I'll scoot it down there towards you. There we go. It's a good start. All right, our green is dry. Let's go ahead and take off our masking here. I think we can uh, safely say that that should be good now. Wow, there we are. And that little white haze will go away um, once it's the the whole apron is done. We'll be able to uh, wipe this off. All right, now it's time to put some color on here. So let's see. We've got several small brushes. I think I want to do some blues. I'm going to do one color now just to get the basis. I'm going to scatter out my flowers. some of this shimmer. I'm going to use that for highlights also.
Now let's do some yellow. Just given those pink bars, just a single little white dot. And then on the end of these, I think we'll look good. I'm going to do 
this. I'm not just coming into the brush and try to shape this flower a little better. I don't necessarily want it to be straight up round circle. what size we want our bumblebees. So bumblebees are fun in that they're kind of like the leaf shape. Let's get this mixed up. Oh, it's a little bit different than our flowers. But yet yeah, still that bright yellow. So a bumblebee is just basically Push your brush down, pull out, and then lift. So that's going to be the body of my bumblebee. That's kind of big, though, for what I've got going on. So let's rethink that size. See what I got in here. 
with this one would do good. Let's try this one. Better. Okay. Because I want it to be a little exaggerated, but not like crazy. And then we'll add definition to this and our ladybugs after it all dries. Let's see. Let's give us a, a bumblebee right here. And we'll need more because it's on fabric. That will just actually help it. I'm just going to do a boop, 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 something like that. So, boop, boop, boop. Just to say, you know, movement, indicate movement. Here we are. Everything's all nice and dry. So now we're going to add some, a few details. You can see that I started over here. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. I'm going to do it over here where you can see it, and then I'll show you some close-ups. But uh, something I've learned in when I make my cards and I use this wallflower design, I come back and I highlight with Sharpies because Sharpies will write over uh, acrylic paint. So... Uh, super simple I'm just doing a just a little freehand ziggy zag and then this one here is a little bit longer and there we have it something simple like that and then on the the limbs on the stems, and the little, these long leaves, just give it a, a few of these. And it's just basically giving it a few little details. On my leaves, I'm just going to outline and draw, stem, uh, draw the vein, that main stem coming in. And it's just to add interest. That's all this is doing. And it's a Sharpie, so even if 
water gets on this, it will, it'll stay. You see, just adding a little bit here and there. And then our cute little bumblebees, super simple. Give them a little eyeball. You can make them smile if you want. And then I'm just going to do this back part and then just do squigglies. Just like that. A little dot. Give a little point back here. Squigglies. All right, then for our red, we're just going to just giving our, our flower a little bit of definition. Just doing a bunch of little C's. Super simple. All right, here's our finished product. I think it came out pretty cute. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see some of the areas. And of course, while you have it on, it'll be kind of flowing a little bit too. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing if you've created something custom would you put it in the link below I'd love to see it well until next time happy crafting